Good morning and welcome to today's message. Yesterday we spoke about the story of Mary who anointed Jesus' feet with the expensive oil of spikenard and dried it with her hair. We then discussed the question, what kind of fragrance are you spreading? We will continue with the story from another perspective today. This time we will spend time with Judas the Iscariot, who also attended the supper, which was prepared for Jesus while visiting the house of Martha, Mary and Lazarus. Our topic for today is, what are your intentions or motives behind anything you ask of God? Now let us read the last few verses of John 12 verse 4 to 8 focusing on the story of Judas. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, said, Why was this fragrant oil not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money box, and he used to take what was put in it. But Jesus said, Let her alone, she has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you will have with you always, but me you do not have always. Now let us compare Mary, who dearly loved Jesus, and Judas, who pretended to love Jesus. Mary showed honest intentions, Judas dishonest intentions. Mary showed true discipleship, Judas false discipleship. Mary showed true love, Judas false love. Mary showed lavish devotion, Judas stinginess and greediness. When Judas asked Jesus why could they not have sold the costly oil for money and help the poor, he was not at all concerned about the poor being fed, but rather more interested in the money, as he was the purser and therefore used it for his own needs. Does this sound familiar to you? Have you ever encountered this amongst anyone you know? Isn't it true that in this day and age there are some people proclaiming to be sent by God in order to help the poor and needy, only to discover that their intentions and actions have been exposed as they use these offerings for their own benefit? That is why we are warned in the Bible that in the end times there will be people in the work of God presenting themselves as part of the flock of Jesus' sheep, whilst in the meantime they are wolves in sheep clothing. Listen to what the Bible says about this in 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 to 5. But know this that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, and from such people turn away. The love of money, the god Mammon, was definitely the god of Judas as he did not hesitate to sell Jesus out to the authorities for a mere 30 pieces of silver. Looking at the value of such a piece of silver, also called a shekel, it was not worth much. 
But Judas's greed got the better of him. He would settle for any amount as he served his greedy god Mammon dutifully. In conclusion, we need to do introspection each and every day and determine what our motives are behind our actions. Is the next person just as important to you as you yourself? Or are you only pretending to be accepting of others in order to be accepted by society? My prayer for us all is to have a clear conscience before our God in our actions towards one another as He has commanded us to love one another in the same way as we love ourselves. Would you please say the following words on your screen with me as a prayer for today. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. May you all have a wonderful, blessed day, and remember to have a clear conscience before God.